Hey, this is another one of my low production value videos that'll hopefully help at least one person out there. That's why I'm doing this. So I was mowing the other day. I mow my yard, my neighbors, and there's a, an older lady down the street, and I mow her yard for her too. That's why I gotta ride in lawnmower. Well, that's what I tell everybody. It's an excuse to have a toy. Anyway, this thing's 20, 95, 10, it's like 22 years old. It's a Scott 1642. It's not the John Deere one. It's made by MTD, which I think is the better one. Anyway, it's hydrostatic, and I was going, there's the Ford Reverse lever right here. Um, and I was going, and I went, I backed up, and I hit forward, and it was locked in reverse, and I couldn't go forward, and it's like everything was bound up. So you could drive, it would go from neutral to reverse, and it, but at neutral, you could not push the pedal forward. I mean, I was putting a lot of, enough force to where I was ready to stop because I didn't want to break something. So I've been slowly tracing the linkage down through the mower. And it's some Rube, Rube Goldberg crap, the way it's all. It goes from over here and ends up, this is a Tecumseh transmission. Hydrostatic. Let me get down. ding a ling a ling and Ultimately what I traced it to, so if you're looking, here's this side of the mower. Let me come back in again. So here we are. Right there. This is the shifter forward reverse. This was loose. It was flopping around. And on the back, on the back side of this thing, there's a nipple. And so I don't know, see that this thing. Let's get the camera back in here there's this nipple and so this nipple see that spring here's one side of the spring the other side of the spring this nipple goes straight in between these two sides of the spring so when you go backwards the spring pushes it to neutral when you go forwards the spring pushes it to neutral um, I think this way going from here here is forward because what happened is this thing got loose and this nipple was sitting right here so you could you no matter how much you pushed you couldn't go this way because it was hitting the spring this the re, reverse return spring now you could go reverse like this way but the other thing I noticed is the spring wasn't pulling it back you would put it in reverse it just stayed in reverse unless you put your foot under the pedal and sucked it over so my assumption is if I get this nipple back in here, tighten this back down, put some uh, Loctite on it, should all be good to go. Um, I'll clean it up and uh, spray some carb cleaner, whatever chemicals I got laying around and stuff, try to clean this thing up. And this is kind of, it's a pretty small, it's just a square, you can see the mating surface on how this goes together. It's just a square and it's really not that big which is kind of I don't know I wish that was a little beefier but I mean it's made it 21 years and this thing's probably got a billion hours on it um, but it still runs fine I take I try to take really good care of it um, so if you run into that problem that symptom I believe this is the problem I'll put it all together and let you know Thanks. Okay, well that was the fix. So, if you run into this problem, look at that first. Pull the tire off and see if that linkage is loose or popped out. Hope this helps somebody. Thanks. I'll touch up the blades. Well, I got it here with the jack and all that crap dragged out.
Okay, while I was out here, I went ahead and sharpened the blades, changed the oil. Put a little sea foam in the carburetor. Let's see how she runs. It's gonna smoke because that sea foam. But. Yeah. <laughs> 